that's what you're experiencing right now, the gift of a great man who thought long and hard enough to say, we need to teach ethics in the community in your own lives. You will be tested over and over throughout your life and your career. And, and being yourself, and true to yourself, and you have the inner fiber of saying, I'm an ethical person, I, I'm intelligent, I like who I am, and I like what I stand for. Stand up and be counted. based technology is unsustainable for Finney because it violates key aspects of the company's code of ethics. Using location-based technology to misinform units would be harmful to Finney's integrity. We recommend that you do not implement location tracking of anyone. Doing so would likely be done in a spirit of some secrecy, which would push you toward increased confidentiality and away from ideal corporate transparency. Because this is such a new area of technology with the smartphones and readily available GPS, it's really new to the court system. So court cases have been won and lost for both sides. We feel that Finney's rapid growth in current issues regarding LAS technology has revealed some ethical gaps in Finney's stated values and practices. A lack in explicit definition of standards poses a risk for Finney itself and leaves its employees uninformed as to the company's ethical practices. Response, Finney needs to publish an external press release and hold a press conference to notify customers and external stakeholders that it is actively implementing an ethics and compliance program and will not be using tracking technology. Um, Finney should not respond in a way that exhibits a sort of panic or defensive attitude about the situation because there's really not anything to be defensive about. We were reading the initial case that it was, she was coming after the ethics of Finney. And we wanted to portray the confidence that the allegations that were presented were false. Because she wanted to claim that her anonymous source had said that, um, that Finney was tracking both competitors as well as its own employees. Uh, and neither of those allegations are true. This is an industry-wide issue, and many companies may not be coming forward with the problem, but it is a prevalent problem. So you can bring it as, you know, we want to endorse policy that will cause these problems to not, um, you know, kind of keep people accountable. news anchor, I've been um, witness to a lot of news about companies that go out of business and professional careers that are destroyed when ethical standards are compromised or outright ignored. I knew Bill Daniels. I also was deeply impressed by Bill and how he was guided by the belief that honesty and integrity were his most important business assets. If you think about technology and implications on ethics, it really comes down to the question of what is ethical versus what is possible. If you have a great opportunity to really think about this and be leaders in this space, and quite honestly, when I'm next chapter working on my golf game, I want you guys solving these type of problems, right? I don't want to be worried about this. And, and uh, if, if you do the research, you know, all the great societies when they fail, the reason why they fail is for this very reason, right? They kind of get away from their core values. And so there's a lot of challenges that we face as a nation, and, and that, that pressure to be competitive, et cetera, drives us down perhaps paths that we should not. And so I would ask you all to think about what can you do to continue to further 
the ethics principle that Bill's talked about. Now, I hold the key to this important information that you got here. <laughs> uh, today's competition was truly inspiring for me, and I'm fortunate enough to have been here last year, and I continue to be impressed with the level of talent and preparation that I see from the students. It was, it was outstanding. And now for the awards. In third place, the University of New Mexico. All right, in our second place, University of Denver. And now for our first place team, Colorado State University.